my mom made me get up every Sunday morning at 6.30. Church started at 7.45. We were in the parking lot at least by 7 o'clock. We sat in the same sixth pew from the front on the corner. And that's where we always were every Sunday. <laughs> I'm always nervous when I'm telling someone, no, I'm HIV positive. Because you don't know what they're going to say. When this happened to me, I thought to myself, I have a, an opportunity here to use my voice, share my story. And it felt like that's what I was supposed to do. I said, Mom, I, I want people at the church to know this is who I am. You know, I think I'm going to give a testimony one Sunday. She said, Pastor won't even allow you to do that. So I called him, told him what I wanted to do, told him why I wanted to do it. And he said, you have my blessing. When he started telling his testimony, you can tell it was a packed house of probably some 1,500 plus in there in the sanctuary. And I started talking and I said, you know, I tell them who I am. I grew up in this church, you know, I love this church. What I'm about to tell you could have happened to anyone in this room. No one is exempt from this. So before you judge me, think about that. If you want to know who I am, I'm DeAndre Moore. I'm an African-American gay male and I'm also HIV positive. I'm healthy, I'm on my HIV treatment, and because I've been in treatment, I'm now undetectable. The spirit was so full there. There was so many people there that night that was telling me, you know, giving their testimony. People would not stop coming up to us, stopping us, thanking us. Your mother being there for you was just everything. I remember one lady, she said, I have a daughter that I'm going through with the same situation. She said, but I put her out and turned my back. I told her, I said, well, I just suggest you go and find her. I said, because she's still your child. Families who think, you know, certain things to stay inside of this house, they don't need to go out anywhere. So it was about breaking a cycle. It was about starting a conversation. It needs to be more talked about. And he's not going to stop until he feel like he's reached as many as he can reach. He has that determination, and nothing but God would stop him. <laughs>